Hey guys, it's me Alana and today we're checking out the brand new collaboration between Colourpop and Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have the complete collection here for us to look at and I personally am such a huge fan of the game. I've been playing it for months now, so let's go ahead and get started. The complete set includes six lip tints, four eyeshadow palettes, two powder blushes, one super shock eyeshadow, and one glitter gel. I do love how when you buy the complete set, they include a sticker sheet for free. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the lip tints. So these tints are all named actually after the fruits that you can get in Animal Crossing. If we go ahead and look at fruit groups, the two tints included are Peach Surprise and Orange Cutie. So this one is called Peach Surprise, so it is scented like peaches. And the scents used for these lip tints are really good. They, they smell like candy pretty much, and I love how accurately they smell like the fruit. So for example, this one is Orange Cutie, so it smells like oranges. This one is called Peach Surprise, and no surprise, it smells like peaches. Here's Pick of the Bunch, and the two for these ones are Coconut Juice and Incomparable. And here's the last set, Fruit Basket, which includes Juicy Apple and Cherry Cherry. So as you can see, these six lip tints are quite neutral and versatile, so you can use them pretty much for like everyday looks. All right, here's the swatch for Peach Surprise. And again, you're just getting like a really nice wash of color. It's not too intense. Here's Orange Cutie. Yeah, this one looks really fun. I really like that shade. And the next set we have Incomparable, really nice neutral color. Oh, I really like this one actually. This is probably similar to something I'm wearing right now. Here is Coconut Juice, which is the darkest shade, very nice and vampy. Again, these are very sheer, so don't be afraid with the darker colors. Here's Juicy Apple, which is probably the pinkest shade out of the entire lip tint collection. And then here's our final one called Cherry Cherry, a nice bright red. So again, these lip tint shades provide a nice wash of color compared to a lipstick, and they smell really, really good. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the powder blushes, we've got two shades. We've got Flower Power, which is a nice pink shade, and then we've got Flower Tender, which is the peachier shade. Both of them do include a little bit of glitter in them, and the compacts are both made out of a cardboard material with mirrors and a magnetic closure. So let's go ahead and swatch Flower Power. This one is the pinker shade. It does feel quite finely milled and upon the first swatch, I do see the flecks of glitter, but I wouldn't say it's anything too chunky. Next swatch that we have is Flower Tender. So this is the peachier shade. This shade is something that I would actually wear like on a regular everyday basis. So I'm quite excited about this shade. This one, you can see the gold flecks and this one actually looks really pretty. Both shades are really beautiful and I'd say they complement my skin tone pretty well. I'm looking forward to wearing these more and including them in my everyday makeup routine. Okay, next up we've got the four eyeshadow palettes. This is called True Friends. On the front we've got all the little NPCs from the Animal Crossing game. And inside the little sleeve are the four palettes. So we've got Five Star Island, we have La Belle of the Ball, What a Hoot, and Nook Ink. All of these compacts are similar to the powder blush compacts where they're made out of a cardboard material, they have a mirror, and also a magnetic closure. So Five Star Island has four shades, Isabel, Island Tune, Island Designer, and Resident Rep, and again, these are all references to the Animal Crossing game. Let's go ahead and do our swatches of it. All right, here's Isabel, which is the nice yellow shade, similar to Isabel's fur. Ooh, this is a lot sparklier on the swatch than in the pan, I would say. All right, here's our next one, Island Tune, which is a matte peach color. Oh, this is very vibrant, really strong. This one is super pigmented. All right, here we have Resident Rep, which is like a, like a copper red uh, eyeshadow with a lot of sparkle in it. And then here's the last one called Island Designer. And even though in the pan it looks like it's quite glittery and chunky, it feels still pretty finely milled. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. All right, so here are the four swatches on my skin tone. I'd say out of all of them, I was actually most surprised with the Island Tune because I was not expecting the first swatch to be so heavily pigmented. 
These colors are super complementary to each other, which is why they're in a palette. And I think they're really, really cute and really fun and playful, just like Isabelle. Next up, we have La Belle of the Ball. And on the front cover, we've got the three Able Sisters. And inside, we have four beautiful purple eyeshadows. We have Able Sisters, Taylor's Ticket, Custom Design, and Serene Sable. Let's go ahead and get started with swatches. Uh, beginning with Able Sisters, this one is the sparkliest and the brightest one out of the pan. Upon initial swatch, I can feel all the glitter underneath my fingers, but, but that's to be expected because look how chunky it is. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting like mermaid scales on my wrist right now. It's really, really beautiful, really fun. Okay, next up we're gonna do Taylor's Ticket. This one doesn't have as much sparkle, but I can still feel it underneath my fingertip. So this one is like a frosty purple shade. Next we'll do Custom Design. This one feels very soft and velvety under my fingertips. And I really like the dual tone look of this eyeshadow shade. And last one we're gonna swatch is Serene Sable. This one is our only matte eyeshadow out of the palette. And again, this one is super pigmented as well. Out of the four shades, I would say my favorite one is the custom design because upon first touch, it felt super soft and velvety. And also I love how it changes color depending on the lighting. Next up, we have What A Hoot, and on the front you can see Blathers and Celeste, as well as some really cute fossil and star fragment designs. And out of all the palettes, I would say this is the best one for a neutral, everyday look. We have four very pretty brown shades over here, starting off with Meteor Shower, then we have Celestial, All A Flutter, and Hoo! First swatch we have is Meteor Shower. This is the sparkliest one out of the bunch, and this one has a super chunky gold glitter. Next, I'm gonna try Celestial. This one is a tan colored, but it's not completely matte. There is some pink glitter inside. Third eyeshadow we have is All A Flutter. This is a nice copper bronze color. This one looks like a shiny brand new penny, actually. And then we have the last one called Who, and this one is completely matte, just like a nice neutral dark brown. So here are the four swatches on my skin tone, and while this is the most neutral palette out of the four, it still packs a lot of punch with the sparkly shades Meteor Shower and Olive Letter. So here's the Nook Ink palette. On the front we've got the Nooklings, Timmy and Tommy, and we have Mr. Tom Nook himself on the cover. And inside we have four very beautiful aqua colored shades. We've got Yes, Yes, Made in the Shade, CEO, and Water Landing. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Yes Yes, which is the color that is most close to the color of the palette. So we've got like a nice iridescent shadow over here. This one, it comes out a lot lighter on my skin tone than in the pan. Next we have Made in the Shade. This one is a glittery shade as well. Oh, I actually really like this one. While it looks quite glittery in the pan, Upon the swatch, it looks like it's more matte with just like a little hint of glitter. That one's really pretty. Next up, we've got CEO, which is the glitteriest and chunkiest one of the bunch. And this one is looking pretty much like a white sparkly eyeshadow. I see a little hint of green. And then here's our last shade. This is the only matte shade in this palette called Water Landing. This is like a nice dark uh, blue green color. Oh wow, and this one is really pigmented as well. A little definitely goes a long way for this one. I'd say my favorite out of the bunch would be Made in the Shade. I like how it's matte with just like a little hint of sparkle. So these were the four eyeshadow palettes and swatches on my skin. I love how fun the colors are, and I also really enjoy how each palette has both matte shades and sparkly shades. Next up, we have the Super Shock eyeshadow in Balloon Pop. This one is a cream-based eyeshadow, so it's a little bit different compared to the four powder eyeshadow palettes. This eyeshadow reminds me of like an antique gold or a champagne rose gold color. So let's go ahead and swatch this eyeshadow. And yeah, it looks pretty much just like how it is in the pan. This is a really pretty color as well. I think this would pair really nicely with the What A Hoot palette with all the nice brown shades. 
And the final product we have is their Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel in the shade Billionaire. And it lives up to its name. It is full of chunky glitter. And it feels so squishy because it's a gel. I'm just very lightly tapping on the gel and I already picked up so much product. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Wow! Because it is a glitter gel, it slides on so smoothly onto my skin. And I really love how you can see the variety of glitter sizes. We've got like huge chunks to like tiny little flecks. This is, this is stunning. This is beautiful. This is our first look at the ColourPop collab with Animal Crossing and I am extremely impressed with the amount of products they were able to produce. I am a huge fan of the lip tints and I think I'm going to be using all of these shades regularly. And let's just take a moment to really appreciate the amount of detail put into the packaging. There are so many Animal Crossing references, whether it's the villagers and NPCs, we've got the fruits or even the little bell on the cap of the glitter gel. I also really love how a lot of the packaging is embossed, so there's actually like texture to the packaging when you touch it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I checked out all of this beautiful makeup. If you did, please consider giving a like to this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you wanted to watch me play Animal Crossing live, I do stream on Twitch regularly. You can check out my streaming schedule in the description box below. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Thank you.